<laughs> you are unbelievable. I knew you were Just unbelievable. Hey guys, Million here with you and my double L I A N overseer of Dominion Fire, as well as your resident provocateur, firebrand, iconoclast, and resident heretic. Thanks for joining me. I already filmed the vlog earlier today, but then we have a bit of a development that we're working on now, so I figure I'll start working on the next one. And it's been a long time since I have shot video from the D Fire kitchen because you remember we do that food and friends thing where whenever there's some kind of need or a uh, situation happens, there's a loss of a family member, some kind of tragedy or whatever. It's important to eat and a lot of people just get so caught up in everything going on and grieving and just dealing with all the fallout of everything that they forget to eat and forget to take care of themselves. So something that we do is we always provide some kind of meals when someone goes through that and I encourage you to do the same if uh, you have that situation as well. In this particular example, well, let me let me back up. In the previous videos here on the um, Dominion Fire YouTube channel, you'll see that there's a couple recipes, a couple easy things I just showed you how to make so that if you want to do this, you can do it without a problem. It's a real easy recipe and actually a couple of them. So go bless somebody, yeah? Anyway, this is going to pose a special challenge. Now, as you know, I can punish a kitchen. I am the son of chef, so I cook a lot of stuff and I can make even crap taste good. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, he's got vegetables here. But anyway, our family that we're cooking for today has a lot of dietary restrictions and we have to keep it as vegan as possible. Now, they're not vegan proper for like the usual reasons. A lot of it's just uh, just dietary restrictions. So they find that that's the easiest thing that helps them with what they're, they're going through. So here in my selections, look at all this. I got vegetables, mushrooms, Peppers, tomatoes, got a vegetable stock. Now, this goes totally against my grain, but I'm going to make this taste good. And it's going to be a wonderful, delicious, nutritious meal for them. Even the dessert right over here is going to involve carrots. I won't show you who that is because, all right, fine. This is Jiminy Cricket, <laughs> a.k.a. Lynn, my wife. She's the one that... Uh, Every has my, husband should have a Jiminy. She's basically my conscience and tells me to do things. So she's a, uh, a whiz at baked goods. Yeah, you're... Uh, you're a piece of work, without a doubt. So, with our selections tonight, uh, <laughs> with our selections tonight, I believe we're gonna make, let me show you one more time again here. I'm gonna make a beautiful portobello with uh, balsamic vinegar, vinegar and olive oil, excuse me. Gonna make a zucchini parmesan, which I'm gonna leave out the cheese because they don't want the cheese in there. A little bit of roasted red pepper, some garlic spinach, and uh, now she's on the grater. Are, is fingernails and finger skin vegan, do you know? Cause, it is. All right, because be it's careful. It's not from animals, from humans, that's okay. No. All right, I'll leave that one alone. So, I'm gonna continue cooking here, I'll show you a couple things we got. Uh, how we put some of these together, you could get some ideas for yourself and make sure when you get the chance you go do this for someone. So, let's get cooking, guys. Look at those beautiful matchstick cut red peppers. They're gorgeous. Baby Bell portobello mushrooms, they're gorgeous. That's peanut butter, that's for me just to snack on. That's not really for them, because I don't know. And you know, Lynn just posed the question, which I thought was the greatest question ever. I know that vegan people don't like to eat eggs, and I don't get this because there's really no harm to the animal. It's just it's gonna fall out of me either way. So I'm just that's the big deal. Chicken. It's a chicken. It's gonna fall out of the chicken's thing, right? So just curious. <sighs> you know, people say don't wash mushrooms because they get waterlogged. Because mushrooms absorb water. I say. Shut your pie hole. Just wash the mushrooms off. They're not in the water long enough to absorb it. They're going to be cutting in the pan before you know it, so. Little friendly cooking tip from your friendly neighborhood million. So as we're cooking this, just uh, a couple things were coming to mind is that uh, this meal we're cooking for this family is, uh, is a family that's a friend of ours and um, the uh, woman who is been working with our ministry and she's been one of our team members and we've gone out in the field. Uh, her husband passed away earlier this week and uh, it's it's been a rough week and here on the vlog I've been kind of telling you that it's been kind of a just a crappy week all around and that was one of the things that had happened and I'll explain that more on a further vlog. I won't get into too many details right now about it but uh, it's it's kind of sad as we're doing this. You know we uh, love to bless people and we love to help people out. I just wish it were on better terms sometimes. And, uh, but this is the way it goes. 
So, you know, it's, as far as I'm concerned, growing up with, you know, in restaurants and with parents who were chefs and cooking and owning restaurants and all that, you know, to me, food is love and this is one way that you can just express love to people. So it's, it's something really, really nice to do. And some of the best friendships are formed over food. Some of the best meetings and business meetings in the world are done over food and coffee and things like that. And um, consider that if you're going to fellowship with people or uh, just spend time with them, always over food. And if, especially if it's cooked and you bring it to them, even if it's not times of tragedy and stuff like this, it's uh, really nice to do. So definitely consider that. Just, just kind of thinking of it as I was just preparing the, uh, the, the materials over here. Lynn's in the cabinet looking for nutmeg. She thinks her recipe calls for it. I think nutmeg sucks. Well, I'm making it without nutmeg. Yes! She's making it without nutmeg. You're not eating it. What? It's not for you. What do you mean it's not for me? It's not for you. How's it not for me? You're going to tell me I don't get a hunk of carrot cake at all? No. Not unless there's an, you're able to put a little sample aside, but pretty much no. Well, that's a travesty. Unbelievable. Here, baby. Oh, yeah. That is no joke right there. That is portobello mushrooms. And I'm going to give you a quick cooking tip. If you take portobello mushrooms and marinate them in olive oil and balsamic vinegar, salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, season them up how you like them, they taste just like steak. You heard me correctly. Portobello mushrooms, got stewed tomatoes and zucchini, something or other. Normally that's Parmesan, but I'm leaving out the cheese, so it's not a Parmesan this time. And into the oven, the carrot cake. Oh yeah. And there it goes. And we're starting to plate these things up. There's my balsamic mushrooms, and there's roasted red peppers with basil and Mexican oregano. Now, it's about, what, 111 today here in Vegas. Now, you're inside in the air conditioner. All the air conditioner does in Vegas is just take the edge off of it. It's still hot. And I got the oven over here at 350. I got four burners going. I am sweating like a Calvinist at a Grace convention. It's hot. And uh, we're going to keep moving forward. See, when it gets hot, I get out of breath, eh, because I'm fat, but because it's hot. You know that already, you've watched the vlog. And uh, so what we're gonna do now is plate these foods up in these uh, containers we have here. Um, normally what we'll do is we'll write either a prayer on the outside of the foil or just a little message, just letting them know that we care and love about them. And uh, care about them and love them, I should say. And uh, yeah, and then we'll go deliver it and yeah, just bless them a little bit. Oh, and just look at that. We got balsamic mushrooms with garlic. We have roasted red peppers with basil and Mexican oregano. We have a beautiful zucchini and stewed tomato marinara. White rice with parsley and plain old white rice without it. And over here, we got spinach defrosting a little bit and we're gonna make a garlic spinach. I'll show you that later. And then beautiful gluten-free Carrot bread. Gorgeous. I'm vegan free. Yeah. <laughs> we make vegan free food. Whatever that means. I mean, stuff in there is not vegan friendly. Okay, long day of cooking up in here. It's uh, coming up on 6 o'clock. We started, I think, around like 1 32 o'clock, somewhere in that ballpark. Started at 4. Started at 4, I'm sorry. It felt like much longer. Anyway, um, so here's what it looks like. Look at that. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine trays of stuff, including a little pick and stuff, a little main course, carrot bread. Now what we do at this point is a little laying hands on this and we just say right now in Jesus' name, we just infuse this food with the love and power of Jesus and the Holy Spirit and that this bless the family and that this just care for them, bring them comfort, joy, peace, rest, relaxation, and hope and joy going forward. And we bless this family and we love them in Jesus' name. Amen. And that's what we do. So we have the food 
prepared to go. We're gonna go deliver this right now. All right, so we're on the highway now. We're gonna go get ready to deliver this to the family. And I wanted to do this as the vlog today, just to kind of show you what everything looks like to just give you a sense of what's involved with preparation and just uh, some ideas that if you ever need to bless someone or someone's going through some trouble or anything and you just want to take care of them a little bit, food is always a great way to do that. It's a good way to show love and, and compassion. So it's something we enjoy doing. It's unfortunate because most of the time we have to do this, we don't like the circumstances. Sometimes they're good, sometimes it's a little rough, but um, either way, I encourage you to consider blessing somebody with this and it's it's very rewarding and it's very uh it's just a wonderful thing to do so yeah go do it so anytime you want to hit us up dominionfire.com is the website please hit the subscribe button and follow us here on youtube and on twitter slash periscope make sure you follow me at healing minister and see when we do things that are live as well so make sure you check that out and uh, leave your comments down below if you have any questions about the food, the process, or if you just want to know anything at all, feel free to do so. And uh, we're going to end the vlog here today and go deliver and sit with the family for a few minutes and be on our merry way. So, all right, Million for Dominion Fire signing off. Now, go bless somebody.